What's up guys, this is RC Films here and today I'm going to show you how to get from this to this. Okay guys, let me give you a little bit of a background on what happened. Here I have two Kindles, both of them each had Cygen Mod installed on them. I turned them into a pure Android device and I wanted to restore the Kindle Fire firmware back onto it. What I did was I reinstalled the firmware on this one and then I reset, I factory reset it one more time. It shut down and then turned completely red and then I did the same thing on this one except without resetting it and it is totally working fine. Everything opens up. I've only got a couple apps on there, but it works like a new like a new Kindle. But now this one is completely brick. What I'm gonna show you guys today is how to fix this guy right here. So the things you're gonna need are, of course, your brick Kindle, and then you're going to need your uh, fast boot cable, and then you will also be needing a Windows computer. If you'd like to see my video on how I dual booted my MacBook Pro on Mac and Windows, click the link in the description or the card up in the top right corner. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you what the difference is between a fast boot cable and a regular cable. So this is just a uh, Samsung micro USB cable that is used for charging and data transfer. And this is a fast boot cable that is meant for the Kindle Fire and also Motorola devices. What it has in here guys is a built-in resistor right next to the port, right next to the port. So what that does is it boots it right into fast boot mode and I'm going to show you the difference right now. So I'm going to turn off my device and I'm going to take my standard micro USB cable and plug it in which the other end is plugged into my computer and all it does is turn on red. And I'm going to shut it off again and I'm going to show you guys what the difference is between the fast boot cable and the regular cable. So I have plugged in my fast boot cable to my computer and now I'm going to insert the micro USB end into my Kindle Fire. Right there. Immediately it turns right into fast boot mode. Alright guys, so the first thing that we need to do is take care of our downloads. Go right into the link in the description. It's in the download is right from Mega, so it's a good clean version and don't, you guys don't have to worry about viruses or anything. And as soon as it is downloaded, drag and drop it right onto your desktop. So we're gonna go straight into our Ultimate Unbrick tool here. And we're going to go into um, Kindle Drivers. Mine are already installed, but I'm gonna walk you through the install process. I'm gonna click yes, and then install, and then next, and finish. And then it'll say completed right here, so you want to just close it because it won't do anything from here. So we're gonna go into Ultimate Unbrick. All right, so if I, un so if I unplug it, and I don't have my, my wire connected, and you guys see here if I press any option, press enter, it'll say waiting for device. Same thing if you plug in any other regular USB, it has to be the fast boot cable. So we're gonna plug that back in. So we're gonna start by going one, two, three, and four, and then that'll take us through the whole step of reinstalling our Kindle Fire. So I'm going to press one, press enter. And if you guys get this waiting for device option when you press the one key and then enter, what you need to do is then go into device manager, find your uh, device, and then press update, and then browse my computer, let me pick, and then scroll all the way down to Universal Serial Bus Devices. And then click Windows Device. And then press ADB Device. And press Yes. And then it will in successfully install your device. And then you can see it right there under Universal Serial Bus Devices. Close that out. Open up Ultimate Unbrick. Then go through all the steps going 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And what it will do is it will send you all these codes saying how long it took and what it did. Then you can press the enter button, yeah, and then press the next option. And then for the fourth option, you need to switch to a normal USB to reboot the system normally. And what that's going to do is it's going to shut down your device and then hopefully reboot. In my case, it didn't reboot for me. So what I had to do was I had to unplug my USB, 
and then I tried to turn on my Kindle manually through the power button, but that didn't work. So then I replugged in my fastboot cable, turned it in the fastboot, and then I unplugged it, shut it back down, and then manually turned it back on through the power button. And there we go, guys. As you can see here, we got our Kindle Fire logo and we're all ready to go. It's booting up. So now what we're getting here is a triangle and it says Kindle Fire System Recovery. Your Kindle Fire doesn't seem to be able to boot. We're going to try to reboot our Kindle. And we'll see if that works. Sweet guys, there it is. Look at that, we got our thing working. The first initial uh, boot is going to take forever, so just don't be alarmed. Sweet guys, we got it all restored. That's awesome. All right guys, I wanna thank you for watching this RC Films. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Kindle, Mac, and Android videos. Thanks for watching, hope this was helpful. Comment down below. See you in the next one.